Wa qala rabbukum wa da'an astajib lakum amin ya Allah ya rabbal alamin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Arrahmanirrahim Malik yawmiddin Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim Ghayri al-magdubi alayhim Waladdalli Amin Alhamdulillah
for today's event, Engineer Earl June Heraldes and Engineer Janaisha Bay Tito. Hello! At isang magandang hapan sa inyong lahat! Isang magandang jansan to our participants and dearest guests from the Tuna capital of the Philippines. Magandang hapan, Engineer Earl! Magandang hapon, Engineer Bay! Engineer Bay, we are also live! via Facebook. Kaya, share-share na po tayo sa ating official Facebook um, page, the ISAP Soft Surgeon Chapter page. I-share na po natin doon ang ating Facebook Live because this day will surely enlighten the participants the significant role of the electronics engineering profession and the sustainability of a nation on utilizing electronics technologies and implementing communication systems for commercial, industrial, medical, military, or scientific applications. I agree, Engineer Earl, because today is indeed a momentous day to ISAP Sock Surgeon and Drysap Sock Surgeon as we launch our first ever career forum webinar in partnership with ISAP National and Department of Education. What a good way to start our Saturday afternoon, correct, Engineer Earl? Definitely, Engineer Bai, will this afternoon good to our participants that we will give them a walkthrough or the teaser kung anong career path ang papasukin nila as TC. Welcome to our webinar entitled, Nanaisin mo maging kabilang sa amin. An initiative is a part of our book as it to strengthen the promotion of the electronics engineering profession. Ultimately, we are aiming to enhance the awareness of the profession at the student level to inspire them to choose ECE as a course and as a career path. That is why we are immensely grateful for ISAP Sock Surgeon and JISAP Sock Surgeon for creating an avenue to our dearest students so that they will have a sneak peek to the different careers that they may take in the future. Isang malaking thumbs up to our ISAP Sock Surgeon and JISAP Sock Surgeon for hosting this meaningful event. And to kick off our program for today, let us hear a welcome message to a phenomenal woman who spearheads the ISAP Sock Surgeon. She is our young, vibrant, and energetic ISAP Sock Surgeon governor. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a virtual applause to Engineer Tanya Osorio. Ma'am? Um, Engineer Heraldes, my felicitations and congratulations. Napakagandang opening salvo indeed. Thank you so much. Suking suking natin sa event. Um, Earl and bye. Ayan. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for for the very kind introduction. Thank you po. So anyway, um, to all uh, the heads of uh, Region 12, I step up. tune in right now. I know uh, some of them are on Facebook Live. Of course, to the advisors and the moderators of all ISEP affiliated schools to Sock Surgeon. Uh, for education. Of course, Engineer Joseph Carl Salva. Hello, sir. To the board of ECE, um, chaired by Dr. Alnar de Paulia, who will be joining us later on. Of course, we have here present right now, um, Engineer Enrico Claro del Moro. And of course, to um, Engineer Herminio Orbe. To our valued guests, and of course, our nine resource speakers. To my fellow ISEP oxygen officers. To our youthful and energetic student delegates and to the JICEP officers po ng Sock Surgeon Region. Ladies and gentlemen, global engineers, magandang jansan, and good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. As a governor, um, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Career Orientation Program, Wittily. Okay, napakawita talaga. Wittily entitled, na naisip po maging kabilang sa amin, an orientation on the electronics engineering profession. Of course, this uh, initiative is in solidarity 
with the strategic direction of ISAP National, which is, of course, to strengthen its advocacy of promoting the electronics engineering profession this 2021. I know for our chapter, this is the first time to facilitate and organize such event. And of course, I would like to especially mention and highlight ISAP Cavite, headed by Governor this program. Yung program po nito is, is truly worth emulating, which is why other chapters are joining in in the drive to encourage and engage prospective electronics engineering students. Of course, um, our event right now is in partnership with DepEd Region 12. However po, our beloved regional director in the person of R.D. Francis Bringas is currently in this post. Uh, Kaka-install niya lang po as the RD of Region 12. So since in his installment uh, a week ago, it had been very hectic for the RD or for the regional director. And of course, um, uh, even though he's not here, uh, the office sends their congratulations to all of us. So anyway, we are hoping, of course, that in the succeeding or in our future uh, events similar to this, we'd get to hear um live <laughs> live and although virtually see rd bring us for of uh region 12 okay of course um apart from that 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 very same partnership we are also delighted to have the support and participation of the seven ISEP affiliated schools ng SOC Sergeant. Uh, allow me to enumerate them po, just, just to reiterate, it's Notre Dame University from Cotabato City. We have University of Southern Mindanao, Notre Dame of Kidapawan College, Notre Dame of Midsayap College, Notre Dame of the Jangas University, Mindanao State University, and of course, Notre Dame of Marble University. So yung pong seven schools schools na yon, kayo po talaga ang primary target for the first salvo of our career orientation program. Originally, it's senior high school students under the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics track or the STEM track. However, we also recognize the fact that even those who are in college, yung first year and second year na level na ng take ng BS ECE sa college, they still have a certain hesitation and doubt. And they are asking themselves, why am I in this course? So may ganun, minsan yung iba na, eh, na ano na lang eh, kasi gusto ng parents or kasi yun yung kinuha ng kaklasiko so nakijoin na lang. So we, are, we also invited them to join this session. So we enjoy their participation as well. Because our primary goal is to really enhance awareness of the profession. Yung nga na-mention ni Engineer Earl earlier at the student level pa lang. And of course, to inspire them to choose ECE as a course and as a career path. And for those na nasa college na, we are hoping, yung mga first year and second year students that we invited as well to be in the session, we are hoping po na through this session, this would give you clarity on the choice of the course na pinili po ninyo. Okay. So, syempre po, we are not just stopping on the ISEP-affiliated schools. Sa chapter level po dito sa Soxergen, this will be one of our advocacy since um, marami po sa amin na officials or uh, officers are in the academy. So it's, it's, it's really one of our advocacies. And we anticipate another tranche or another kind or another career orientation program in the coming months. And this time around, we would really be inviting other schools, not just in the region, but for those from other regions as well. So anyway po, for the first tranche of our program, I would like to set your expectations. Uh, ano ba yung maririnig ng mga estudyante uh, later on? Okay, so when we crafted, when we uh, when we thought of this uh, program, how are we going to differ from other career orientation programs? So sa SOC Surgeon po, what we really want is we want to highlight the successes of those homegrown engineers, yung born and raised sa SOC Surgeon, dito talaga galing sa SOC Surgeon, and they became electronics engineering practitioners in various fields 
of the profession. That's why later on, you'll get to see na six, actually, we have nine speakers. Six out of nine of those speakers are from SOC Surgeon. And you would realize na even galing sa province, we could be successful as well. May maganong mindset pa kasi, um, believe it or not. Okay, So we would really want to highlight the successes of those from the SOC Surgeon na mga engineers. Ayan. So is, yun po ang aming pambungad so first salvo ng career program na ito. But of course, um, even though dito sa SOC Surgeon, they ventured into other areas in the Philippines. They may be working in other regions and some are actually working abroad. So apart from those na galing sa SOCs talaga, we are also ecstatic and honored to have with us yung mga batikan sa ECE profession. Later on, you'll get to see them, you'll get to hear them. They're very experienced in the field. They are multi-awarded. They're very admirable and very inspiring ECEs. And ako as a governor, I'm very excited for all of you to hear their stories later on. So uh, with that, it is our hope no, na ang students natin, student participants right now, as of now, we are 200 plus strong and some are also tuned in on Facebook Live. So marami po tayo. Napaka-overwhelming ng response of our first uh, tranche. So it is our hope that our student participants would find substance and value in the program that we have pre prepared for you. Sana po you would find the session interesting, enlightening, at mabigyan kayo ng clarity regarding the course that you would be taking in the future. So anyway, before I end my part of the program, I would like to take this opportunity kasi baka later on, I won't be able to say it na. I would like to thank in advance po our national BOD, the very supportive, the Soxogen Always Governor, Lyle Villas, for the assistance in the conferencing platform that we are using right now. And of course, the biggest commendation, hats off talaga, to the third year, ECE students, so yan yung mga ano, STEM students natin, ganyan, believe it or not, the things that you're seeing right now, estudyante lang po ang gumawa. So the third year ECE students of Mindanao State University, Jensen, ang tawag namin sa kanila, ICEP Angels, because they have they have been assisting ICEP, hindi lang sa, sa chapter, they have been assisting ICEP, and they're working hand-in-hand -hand with us to give you uh, a, a good and... Um, engaging program. So I'd like to mention Jason, Rainier, Gwen, Esther, Chloe, Jane, and Gio who are at my house right now. So heads off po sa mga batang yan. Maraming salamat din po sa ISAP SOX na officers for the hard work and for always supporting lahat ng mga proposals ng, ng mga officers when it comes to conducting activities. So anyway po, in behalf of ISAP SOX Surgeon, this is your governor. This is Engineer Tanya Osorio. I thank you all for your active participation and welcome to the na naisin mo maging kabilang sa amin. This is an orientation on the electronics engineering profession. Maraming salamat po. Back to you, by and Earl. Thank you so much for that very warm welcome, Gov Tanya. Indeed, thank you for giving us insights on this program for today and we hope that our students will be enlightened and inspired at the end of our program because they will be hearing successes of our you are good. yes definitely engineer by so reminders lang po sa ating mga facebook live if you have something to shout out po, I know you have something to shout out talaga. You are free to post it in the chat box sa ating Facebook. And don't worry, learn po tayo mga student corresponders to take care of that, okay? And later on, during our session, we will have a question and answer portion. So please, if you have something to ask in relation to our, uh, web, to our speakers, can you put on hashtag ask me space then your questions it's for easier query po para mas madali pong makita ng ating mga student corresponders all right and true to our social media hashtag posts socks lang malakas we are immensely grateful that we are 
we have our dedicated ISAP national officer joining with us and supporting our ISAP activity. Let us hear a message from one of ISAP Soxer Den, very own Beaming Pride, Ang Lodi ng MECQ. Yes, you heard it right. She's the leader with objectivity, directivity, and integrity, the one and only Dr. Michelle D. Lawash, the empowered, the committed, the qualified ISEP National President. Ma'am? Uh, you're on mute. Oh. Okay, thank you so much, Earl. Thank you so much for that hype and, you know, introduction about me. And thank you also so much. Bye and Earl. And I'm so proud of my sock surgeon family and, of course, to our very active and gorgeous Governor Engineer Tanya Molarto for coming up an activity such as this since... Um, uh, this is one of the direction uh, set by this year's priorities, programs, and activities. No? And this is all about to promote uh, career programs and forums for high school students to choose ECE as a course and, of course, as a profession. But before that, uh, to our Honorable uh, Francis Cesar Bringas, our Regional Director of the Department of Education of South Surgeon Region, who is not around with us this afternoon with an equally important activity. And in fact, uh, nagme-message siya sa akin regarding the, of her absence and, and he sent his, uh, her congratulations to the activity that we have uh, this afternoon. And of course, to our PRC board of ECE, Engineer Alnar Detalia, nag-brown out daw sa kanila ngayon. But definitely, he will be on board pag mag-back to power na. Then, Honorable Ermi, Erminio Orbe, nasa Kabila po, nasa Chapter Manila for some, uh, some lecture on specialization and ECE forum for 2021. And also to our very own uh, Honorable Engineer Enrico Del Moro. Sir, thank you for being with us and for being a constant in, in all our activities sa ICEP po in the chapter level and in the national level. And of course, to our selected, selected friends and uh, electronics engineers who are successful in their field of specialization here and abroad. And, and of course, thank you also for, for having this activity for the Board of Trustees of Sock Surgeon Chapter and also to our, uh, their, uh, to our advisors ng mga senior high school po natin for coming up and of course no for being online and on board with our activity this afternoon so my pleasure my pleasure to be your uh, to be invited by of course no this is my this is my chapter and this is sock surgeon and i am so proud na ganito talaga ang ganito ka empowered at ganito yung na come up natin with activity uh, along with the set direction of our priority programs and that programs was tasked and challenged to our vice president for education and student affairs in the person of engineer Carl Salva and of course uh, it is cascaded down to the chapter level to really promote our profession as a uh, uh, as a profession and as and as a course no, for the future uh, college students. So with that, um, and the, the, that, that direction of the national, that serves as basis for the committee's prioritization activities and programs for the entire year. And I am so happy that the, the vice governor headed by the vice president of education and student affairs initiated this kind of activity. And of course, now this is all about to promote career programs and forums for high school students, again, to choose ECE as a course and as a profession. And, uh, you know, the, the impact of the COVID-19 on education has been unprecedented. And yet the education sector, just like with the MSU and all other SOOCs, state universities and colleges, private universities, that's the education sector, 
and just like uh, we are conducting, just like we are conducting right now, right now, has proved resiliency in building a groundwork for rebound in the response to the crisis. But of, apart from that, uh, alam po natin na medyo may problema po tayo uh, on the decline of our enrollees for the past five years. We try to, you know, to track down the data on the on the SOOCs and even on the private school regarding the enrollees of the ECE as a uh, as a course, no? So ngayon, medyo may problema tayo kasi nga for the last five years, may decline po tayo ng enrollees and, uh, and until this time that even some of the big big school in Manila po ay may nagko-close door na talaga because of, because of some uh, reasons na hindi din nila ida-divulge on the public on why they are closing this door, their door for, for an ECE as an offering course. And one of the objectives of the Institute of Electronics in, uh, Engineers of the Philippines no, is to participate in uh, some meaningful social and civic activities. And it is, of course, our immense uh, pleasure no, to, to have this kind of activity headed by our chapter. So this is, of course, in support of our implementation of our 9292. And we always tasked and 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 consider this as one of our programs and one of our responsibilities you now to promote ECE to our future college students so on behalf of the institute uh, in behalf of ICEP you no know, uh, along with with the board of directors and officers we are delighted we are delighted to be of assistance to lead to have a more optimistic and you know sound outlook in life and uh, you have the sense of purpose and single-mindedness no, that you will con constitute to your family and in the future and to the society through this career forum. So with the high number of courses available, colleges and a job opportunities available, choosing the right career path uh, could become intimidating for students and for the coming college students. No? But ICEP is honored to play an integral role in developing the students' knowledge, you know, competence and attitudes by giving up uh, technical development seminars, may mga, may mga soft skills po tayo or even enhancement of the programs no, that will eventually foster and make substantiated decision about your career ambition in the future. So to our dearest students who are with us this afternoon, bear in mind that your decision um, that will make in this career forum will have an important role, not only in your future employment, but also in the social lives and finances. So you really have to consider that in choosing the career. And I know that you are very particular on the education 4.0 or even in the industry 4.0. Then the, the new generation this time, uh, we have this uh, trends in the evolution of learning like the, like the AI, yung mga accelerate remote learning natin, we have personalized learning or even we have data analysis and with all this new in the cloud computing, cognitive computing and all of that. So we are all very familiar in the dynamic of our education 4.0 that is not at par with the education 4.0. So it is also the responsibility of ICEP to really take part on the crafting of our of our curriculum or crafting of an activities that will really enhance and to be more engaging you know, in the coming in the school activities and in the coming decision of our of our students so with that again uh, to our students who are joining with us uh, please uh, consider ECE as a course and consider ECE as your future profession as your future career because if you want to take, if you want to contribute uh, to the development of our country in the future, then you must be an ECE. So sustainability, yes, we do, we do have the program for sustainability and we really want to contribute uh, in the development of our economy, not only being the front, fla front line of our professional, professional uh, advocacy, no? Now we are the front line in this time of pandemic. Yes, we do, but uh, in the in the near future and uh, in terms of sustainability, yes, we do have that program because we have that intelligent networking and the machine processes, no, and all of that in the future. 
yung mga ginagawa po ng mga lahat po ng mga high tech po ngayon eventually boils down in the practice of ECE. So I am selling now ECE as your profession in the future. So, uh, so hopefully you will be more engaged in your schooling and will be high spirited about your future when you have a better understanding. You have a better understanding of yourself and what you want to do in the future and how you might perform when you leave your school and eventually choose your course and your career in the future. And on top of that, a proper setting up of career puts in place a coherent framework of your future and gives you a mainstream direction to focus on your goals. So to the parents, I want to address this one to the parents, to the students or to the advisors of our students. We in the Institute of Electronics Engineers of the Philippines with a powerful spirit po in the exigency of service, public private service are more willing to provide with you the assistance that you need for the betterment of the students as you mold them to be the 21st century leaders who are competent, confident and empowered. While the future remains unclear by working together as one along with the Institute, along with the programs of ISEP, I believe that we can help establish the structures that our students will need to receive the quality education they deserve and bring stability in times of uncertainty. So again, mabuhay po ang ISEP, mabuhay po tayong lahat, mabuhay ang South Sergeant Chapter, mabuhay po ang programa ng edukasyon, ng Vice President of Education and Student Affairs. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you and Godspeed po. Thank you, President Michelle, for that um, confident, competent and confident message. So transient evolution of learning, that's Education 4.0. So ICEP's responsibility is to take part in that crafting. Hi, nako. Opening messages pa lang. Akala ko yun na yung speaker natin eh. Kasi high-spirited na ata ating mga participants. Kaya, let's acknowledge our participants for today. So, I know we have our JICEP, SOC, Sergeant so Affiliated Schools. Right now, they are in the Zoom and some of them are in Facebook Live. And ganito na lang, if you are here and your, and your school is uh, mentioned, pwede na lang natin paki-hashtag yung mga letters na sasabihin ko. So, it's most of the time, it will be the hashtag of the initials of your schools. Okay ba tayo doon? Yes, I know. Baka magwawala naman yung mga participants natin because they are now very excited for our speakers. So to start off, let us acknowledge the presence of our participants from the Notre Dame University. Can you hashtag NDU? Come on, hashtag NDU. Let's do this. Sana po yung mga participants natin from the Notre Dame University. <laughs> Ayan, yes, and you can see here in Facebook Live also. Parang nahihiya yung mga participants natin here at Zoom, uh -huh. Engineer Earl. Ayun, uh -huh. meron na. Wag ka, wag ka na. Yeah, All right. Water. Let's 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 say this in one word. Chill. Chill lang po tayo. This is for us. All right. So, Engineer Bai. Yes, and now let us let us hear or let let me um say hi to our participants from the Notre Dame of Mid Sayap College. So can you please type in hashtag NDMC in our chat box? Yun dami. Ayan. Yes. <laughs> and in even even in our Facebook Live, dami nila. Ay, yeah. wow. Ayan, naghahang na ito yung chat box ko. Ayan, very energetic. Ang ah, ah. bit sayap college. Ayan. And how about from the Notre Dame of the Jungas University? Can you key in hashtag NDDU? Saan po kayo? Mag-ingay, mga taga Notre Dame University, the Jungas University. Ayan, parang hindi pa natatapos yung NDMC. Parang NDMC lang malakas, ah. Alright. Alright. So now, let me acknowledge the presence of our participants from the Notre Dame of Marpel University. 
University. So can you please type in hashtag NDMU. Ayan. Ayan. Come on, keyboard warriors. Ano kayo? And, and we'll proceed also. Let us acknowledge the presence of our participants from the Notre Dame of Kidapawan College. Can you key in? Hashtag NDKC. Ayun! Hindi pa ako natapos. May nahon na na. Alam na nila, oh. Ingat. <laughs> Engineer. Er. Hindi ko pa nga na nasasabi. Eh. All right. Kaya nga, eh. Very participant. Ang ating participants. So now, let me give a shout out to our participants from my dearest alma mater, Mindanao State University General Santos City. Can you please type in hashtag MSU? Ay, yun na. Ay, <laughs> ay, yun. Ay. Ay, ang dami. Very energetic yung mga participants natin. And of course, yes. pauhuli ba ang University of Southern Mindanao? Can you key in hashtag USM? Ayun, ang dam. Grabe itong USM mo. Parang ginaligtad lang yung MSU eh. Yeah. Nahashtag eh. Ang dami. <laughs> Ayun, ang dami participants. All right. Nearby? Okay. Yes. So, all right. So, before we will proceed to our session proper, we would like to remind our to our participants to please turn off your microphone during this session. And to our participants, and if mga you... yes, nearby. And to our participants, yes, go ahead, engineer. Yes, to our participants, let us just remind you if may mga tanong po kayo. Sa mga speakers natin, please send your questions to Mr. Ask Me. And I believe he is one of our participants. Right? Nasa participant list po siya. I-chat po sa kanya yung mga questions natin sa ating, regarding sa ating mga speakers. And also to our Facebook livers para mas madali pong makwery ng ating mga student corresponders. Before po, before po your questions, can you key in hashtag ask me space and then your questions po. Kasi po, we will acknowledge those questions later by our um, student correspondents. All right. So, I think, ano na, very excited na yung ating participants. We can see how participative they are. So, now, um, let us proceed to our session proper. So, this forum is indeed one of ISAP SOC Surgeon's initiative to our dearest students. So, this one, uh, so this this um, forum will highlight or will inspire our students in their chosen course. So to know more about the purpose and overview of our career program, let us welcome one of ISAP SOC Surgeon's active and dedicated officer, our Vice Governor for Education, Engineer Macbeth M. Toledo. A warm of applause, please. Thank you, Mumbai and Sir Earl, for that wonderful introduction. Um, thank you, everyone, for attending this uh, Zoom uh, Career Forum. To our uh, Board of ECE, Honorable Alnar Detalia, Honorable Herminio Orbe, and Honorable Enrico Claro del Moro. Um, good afternoon, sir. To our ISAP National President, Dr. Michelle B. Lawas, ma'am, good afternoon. Also to our ISAP National Vice President for Education, Engineer Joseph Carl Salva, good afternoon, sir. To our guest speakers that will be introduced later, good afternoon. Also to our seven moderators of the affiliated school of JICEP SOC Surgeon, we have from NDMU, we have uh, Engineer Rachel Sukayan from NDMC. We have Engineer Lindel Jean from MSU. We have Engineer Raya Marie P. Cordova 
From NDDU, we have Engineer Fel Lily F. Canonigo. From NDU, Cotabato, we have Engineer Martin Edison Bencilio. From NDKC, we have Engineer Robert James Bedanio. And from USM, we have Engineer Jerry T. Piamonte. So, sir and ma'am, good afternoon. I also acknowledge their time and effort for having this uh, the success of this activity. Also, to my fellow ISEP SOX officers, to Engineer Earl for a very energetic hosting as well as Engineer Bai, to our um, secretary, we have Engineer Tony Abiera, and also to our very active and of course, gorgeous governor. We have Engineer Tanya Osorio. Good afternoon, ma'am. So last night, we have actually a total of 359 attendees from senior high school and first year college of the six affiliated school. But for now, I am thankful that we have 214 participants in the Zoom and 100 plus participants in the Facebook Live. Nanaisin mo maging kabilang sa amin. Yes, uh, tama po yung title. So we are doing this um, because we really wanted you to become one of us, to become an ECE. Uh, we are thankful that you know, maybe because of the pandemic, um, still let's look on the positive side that uh, because of those uh, uh, Zoom platform or other uh, video platform, video conferencing platforms, uh, it is made uh, possible to gather these students from different uh, regions, I mean, uh, places. Now, we are doing this also because um, in SOC Sargent, uh, we, will, or we are taking this opportunity to highlight the successes of our own ISAP SOX engineers. Saan na ba sila ngayon? Saan na ba sila? Ano na ba yung... Um, career um, step nila sa kanilang profession. Now, I am thankful also for, of course, the uh, very active participation ng mga students, the senior high school as well as the first year college. No, yung mga first year na, yes, no, to shift tayo. Hopefully, there will be another forum in which we will also conduct another forum, not only in the affiliated school because madami pong uh, school public schools as well as private schools who are interested to join this career forum. No, may mga ibang schools na nag -aas. Sir, pwede po kami mag-register. And because of that, maybe we will uh, initiate another, uh, I mean, round two of this activity. Okay. So, um, ECE. Yeah, kanina ko lang ginawa yung, yung abbreviation. Actually, it's electronics engineers, right? But for me, um, I created one. ECE stands for Enhancing Your Career Everywhere. ECE. Yes, everywhere. Kasi nga, uh, ECE has a wide variety of uh, field, no? Um, from electronics to um, aviation, automation, ICT, building electronics, uh, biomedical, broadcasting, communications, academe, and many more. No? So, halos lahat ng doon, um, ECE. No? So, this is one of Isaac Sox's um, initiative also to empower ECE profession as well as to promote awareness about RA9292 to all students na may future sa ECE. Kasi iba, um, first year, but they are doubtful, bakit ako nag-ECE? Baka nag-ECE ako kasi puno na yung CE. Nag-ECE ako kasi puno na yung ME. So dito na lang muna ako kasi marami pang slot na available. But maybe since andyan na kayo, wag na kayong umalis dyan. No? So, uh, to all the students who have uh, registered and show their interest, uh, you can sit back, relax, and be inspired with our resource speakers later. And after the program, mapapasabi talaga kayo na nanaisin ko maging kabilang sa inyo. Just like that. Okay? So, again, this is uh, Engineer Mark Macbetoledo, the Vice Governor for Education of ISAP SOC Sergeant. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Vice Gov Mark. 
I agree doon sa kanyang abbreviation na enhancing your career everywhere. ECE. Kaya, umag, kaya na naisin mo maging kabilang sa amin. Alright. So, thank you so much for that, Engineer um, Mark. Now, let's proceed to the next part of our program. Engineer Earl? Yes, thank you, Engineer Bai. And let us hear a message from our ICEP VP for Education, Engineer Joseph Carl Salva. Sir? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Earl June. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Okay, thank you, thank you. Our distinguished members of the Professional Regulatory Board for Electronics Engineering, headed by Dr. Alnard Italia, Dr. Michelle Lawas, our very energetic president of ISEP Incorporated, our invited resource speakers who will be formally introduced later, Officers of Sook Sergeant Chapter, headed by Engineer Tanya Osorio, Student Chapter Officers, colleagues in ISEP, teachers, other guests, friends, students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank ISEP Sook Sergeant Chapter for hosting this very important activity na naisin mo maging kabilang sa amin, an orientation on the electronics engineering profession. I am happy that your activity is in line with one of ISEP's national thrust through the Vice President for Education to reach out senior high students, telling them the beauty of electronics engineering profession. Last month, an officer in one of the ISEP local chapters relayed to me the result of a survey conducted to senior high school students, where they found out that only a few were familiar with the electronics engineering profession. Probably, this could also be the case in most of the high school students throughout the Philippines. So this activity is very important because successful professionals are invited to share the relevant and memorable experiences, including the benefits of being in the practice of electronics engineering profession. It is a common observation that we are in the era where people deal with electronic systems and devices in various fo forms, such as computers, transport systems, home appliances, cameras, cell phones, televisions, and many others. This has provided a more meaningful and fruitful lives to people. On the other hand, manufacturing industry has put a lot of investment to robotics and automation, including electronic instrumentation in order to increase productivity in a more efficient way, resulting to the production of good quality products and services. In modern buildings, for instance, electronics has also facilitated in the implementation of various types of electronic systems, such as fire detection and alarm system, public address system, surveillance and security systems, access control, including structured cabling for voice and data. In the area of healthcare, electronics has played a major role in medical diagnosis and sickness detection. Even in the field of research, it has facilitated in a reliable acquisition of and processing of data, resulting to new discoveries and inventions, paving the way to the production of new products, big or small, for the good of humanity 
and its environment. These are just a few examples of the applications of electronics, making the lives of people easier, where design and implementation are generally done by electronics engineers. And in order to keep electronic systems fully operational and in good condition, electronics engineers are needed to carry the job. This is the main reason why ICEP is conducting awareness activities related to electronics engineering profession with the hope that students like you will further be enlightened on how important electronics engineering field, not only in the Philippines, but to the rest of the world. May you be properly be guided by the presentations so you will be able to decide what is best for your future. I encourage you to take this opportunity to raise your questions so that by the end of this activity, everything will be clear and you can start figuring out on whether or not you consider taking up the Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering. Again, good afternoon and thank you for attending this activity. Back to you, Earl. Thank you, Vice President Salva. Ayan, in building constructions, medical, research, napakalaki po ng role ng electronics engineering. Ika nga ng ating Vice President Salva, making the lives of people easier. Right, sir? So, Engineer Vai? Yes. All right. So, at this point, Sorry. Um, we are indeed honored that we are joined by our hardworking dignitaries who administers, implements, and enforces the regulatory laws and policies of the country with respect to our profession, our supportive BECE. So today, let us hear a message from the chairman of the board of ECE, Honorable Dr. Alnar Vitalia. Sir Al? Thank you, thank you. How's my audio coming? Loud and clear, sir. Okay, so thank you, ISEP, for organizing uh, this activity for our incoming uh, uh, electronics engineering students. My uh, buntag sa my hapon ay sa tanan. I'm I'm uh, proud that uh, this uh, organization, this chapter of ISEP is uh starting started organizing this uh, activity uh, let me complement what was said by uh, engineer carl, uh, carl salva uh, with regards to the scope of electronics engineering now uh this is just to i uh, know to to spark uh the the uh, the, the the questions from our participants you know uh ba bakit kaya uh, electronics yung kukunin natin no so what's in store for us in electronics engineering profession well uh gone are those days that when you are electronics engineer you have to go outside your comfort zone like uh in your case there in southern mindanao you have to go to cebu city or even in manila to be employed by uh, electronics uh, companies, I know. So those were uh, the days na yung uh, opportunity for us to practice are, are very, very limited, no? But let me first highlight uh, yung uh, scope na talagang, uh, yun yung familiar na scope of electronics engineering, no? Of course, for one is broadcast, 
okay? And then the second one is telecoms, and then other is electronics, uh, electronic production industry, okay? So yun lang yung so far, no? Uh, yun yung pinaka-common na uh, practice of the profession. Okay? So ang tanong ngayon, no? So do I need to look for a broadcast station para lang ako ma-employ? Ilan lang yung broadcast station dito sa area natin? In, in particular sa, sa, sa Southern Mindanao, kukunti lang, no? So uh, majority of our graduates cannot be accommodated by this industry. Also telecoms, although telecom now is booming, but then again, uh, hindi naman talaga lahat makapasok doon sa telecoms. No? Uh, electronics production industry, eh, whether we like it or not, in the area of uh, ano, Southern Mindanao, bihira lang yung mga, ano, mga manufacturing uh, companies in re related to electronics. Okay? However, so in that in that particular case, you still have to go outside from Mindanao, like you have to go to 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 Cebu, and in Manila to be employed in these particular companies. But as what I have said, that yon. Now, nowadays there are a lot of opportunities in store for you if you take up electronics engineering. Now, why? Bakit natin nasabi yon? Okay? Now, if you notice nowadays, buildings now are smart. Yung mga sasakyan ngayon are smart also. Ibig sabihin, making use of electronics. Also, mayroon tayong smart agriculture. Okay? So, dito muna tayo sa smart buildings. Just like, uh, uh, okay, it was mentioned by Engineer Salva earlier. Mga buildings natin ngayon are equipped with sensors, making use of electronics. Okay? So meaning to say, right at your own uh, location, mayroon na kayong opportunity to practice the profession because buildings nowadays are smart, making use of electronics. So you don't need to go outside in your comfort zone just to look for job. Because buildings nowadays are smart. Dati yung building, as long as mapailawan mo lang, okay na. Kaya nga dati, hindi kailangan si electronics. But nowadays, yung buildings natin are smart. Therefore, kailangan na kailangan natin si electronics. So kung nag-isip ka ba, kapag to be civil engineer, might as well Iisipin mo na rin na doon ka sa electronics engineer kasi you can still partner with civil engineer nowadays because building are smart. Okay? Now, yung mga sasakyan ngayon, cars are also smart, making you high-tech na ngayon. Kumbaga, no? quote-unquote. Okay? So, electronics engineers can partner mechanical engineers to build or to 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 design a high tech cars so yun tatandaan niyo mga high school 